Hello everyone. Now as some of you have probably already noticed, this is the Model A pickup that I advertised was for sale a few months ago, and obviously it hasn't sold yet, but the owner's still storing it here, so as long as I have to store it here, I'm going to use it if I want to. So in this video, we're going to drive through snow. I originally planned to do this back in December during Christmas, but for various reasons I wasn't able to until now. If you're wondering why, I want to drive a Model A through the snow, well, mostly because it sounded like fun when I thought of it. But actually, there's some logic to this, because I've never really driven a Model A in freezing cold weather. Now, an open car is a really bad choice for that, but we do have a set of side curtains, and that's supposed to compensate for it. Now, how well all that works? I don't know, but I'm somewhat curious to find out. And if you are too, keep watching the video. So the plan is, I'm going to check over a few things on this car, and then tomorrow morning we'll drive out there to the hills and see what we can find. We've been driving a few hours now. We're now at the base of the hill. It's not too cold just yet, but we still got to climb all the way up there. It's really good driving with the side curtains, because it's still a little cool inside, but there's no cross breeze. So now we're going to start climbing the hill. We may have a few problems. still have the stock 4.2 to 1 cylinder head, and these lose power really quickly when you start gaining altitude. It was already kind of starting to lose a little power, and it was running a little rich already. So I'm not sure what it's going to be like, but I'm pretty sure we'll make it. So let's go. And here's where I planned on going. We're in Mount Baldy, who's just outside LA. Now we drove up to the town, we're just past that at a rest stop. Now if we keep going up this road, there's a ski lift way up there. Now sometimes this year they require chains depending on the weather, 
they're not requiring them today, so we're going to keep driving all the way up to the top. And we made it. We found snow. Plenty of it. I expected it to be a lot colder up here. As you can see, I'm not even wearing gloves. It's about 44 degrees right now. Now the plan was to just keep going on this road all the way up to the ski lift. We're almost there now, but we're probably going to start heading back because, ironically, the support vehicle is having trouble. That's overheating. This car, no problems whatsoever. It's not even running warm. So I think for now, we're going to sit here, take a few pictures, and then we'll start heading back. Well, if I knew it was going to look like this, I probably would have brought a sled. I made a snowman. Say hi. Now actually, it's surprisingly quite comfortable in here. Like I said, there's no cross breeze at all at the side curtains. In fact, with the sunlight, it's got kind of a greenhouse effect in here. If 
fact, I might even take the side curtains off on the way home. Now, yes, I am tracking mud in here and dirt and all that, but the good news is this is a rubber floor mat. It's not a carpet or anything like that. So when I get home, I'll just hose it off and it'll be like brand new. And we all made it back with no problems. So now I'm probably going to spend the next two days cleaning and detailing the underside of this car. Now around the time we were leaving the temperature dropped to about 35 but driving back I didn't really even notice it because inside this it's kind of like a modern car. You don't really notice the outside temperature unless you actually stop and get out. So the lesson I've learned is if you have an open car and you have side curtains, they don't just look cute, they make a huge difference when you're driving. Well, anyway, that's it for now. I hope you found this entertaining. I sure did. So like, dislike, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.